Good morning. It's uh, a soggy day, a bit soggier than when we were breaking, uh, breaking the pointing out, but we've returned. Uh, yesterday we spent a day getting the pointing back in, back into the property. Um, so this morning we're coming dressed up yesterday's work, um, and the rain's just let up, let up for a little bit, so we might get might get the job finished today. So um, let's have a look. So the blasters have been. I can't just see properly. Here. But uh, all the paint's been taken off. Um, all the joints have been ground back, um, all the line pointings come out, so we put the mortar back into the wall. Um, so what we do is we put it all in, and then day after we come and dress it up, um, rake off all the fat on the top of the, the mortar, um, and then it gets brushed back, then we tamp it back with like a stiff churn brush, and then brushed up again. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. So it's a completely different look. To, the, uh, to when we first start the job, um, usually a fact like you can see here, uh, and these bits that we haven't quite pointed, there's a big old cavity there in between the, the window jam and the stonework, so that, have a look, there we go, so that would be a natural point for water to ingress, it gets into the cavity, starts causing issues then on the other side of the, the stonework, so what we've done is we've back pointed all uh, in here uh, with mortar, and then we'll uh, we'll finish it off with like a, a finished coat of mortar and then this morning we've just dressed it up so we'll go upstairs and we shall see what's been going on there so as you can see on this lift as well we finished yesterday so we've yet to put some we'll point it up to here so we'll just carry on, not much left to do, we'll just show you what we do. So as you can see all the joints here have been ground out back, all the old line mortar has been um, raked back out the joints. So when you're pointing up, uh, ideally what you want to be aiming for is um, the, the width of the joint, the depth of the joint wants to be twice the width, is then that gives the, uh, the mortar um, an ideal spot to just the key in, it's not going to be falling out. You know, if it does, if if some water does get behind, and blows the point in, then it ain't going to be falling out the house. It's still going to be providing a function. Um, there's different ways of pointing. So you can see next door, that's cut. That's this is called cut pointing. So you load the joints up. Real proud of the uh, of the stonework, and then you just the day after you're coming, you'll dress it up like that. I personally don't really suggest uh, doing this kind of pointing because you find that the water sits on the top of the pointing and then as it soaks into that first couple of mil of the stonework and then the frost comes it blasts it all off. So what you want when you're pointing a wall is a nice uh, vertical plane that the water can get onto the wall and just run straight off like we've done here. Um, you don't want it sitting on the stonework. Uh, just my opinion, you know, it's not right, it's not wrong, it's just what I do. Um, yeah, so all the joints are raked out. You can see there's some quite big joints there, but because we're using cement based mortar, that's not a problem because that'll go off just fine. If we're using lime, we'd have to pack that out with stone as we're pointed along um, just to add uh, strength to the, to the finished mortar. Um, right, so let's have a look. So when we're uh, when we're uh, dressing yesterday's work up, we break it back hard, take all this fat off. As you can see there, we're using this gauging trowel, and that just takes just enough off. So when any water comes down the face of this stone, onto the point and down, and it's getting down to the floor as fast as it can. So then as you can see here, that was brushes off all the grit and the bits of shit. And then it's tamped back really hard. 
that. And because this mortar hasn't gone off properly yet, cement based mortar takes an average of about 10 to 15 days to reach its full hardness. So what we do here when we're tamping this back is it pushes that surface of the, uh, the mortar, compacts it into the joint, to stopping water ingress. And it just gives a lovely texture to the, uh, to the finish of the pointing. After it's been tamped back, it just gets brushed off. And then we just carry on until the rest of the wall's done. So we'll, uh, we'll come back when the, the job's been done scaffolding's down and we'll see what it looks like. So, right, I hope you stay dry. Enjoy your day.